Hi, let me show you a crepe maker from Bredico. As you can see, it's rather meant for home, but I find it's also a great additional piece of equipment uh, in a commercial kitchen. So I would put, fit it in a restaurant, in a cafe or a bistro on the dessert section. Well, uh, unless you, it's your main product, then it's not uh, efficient enough. But, you know, if it's just an add-on, uh, it's great. So if you have a pancake on one dish or two, why not? This is very compact, so you can put it away when you don't need it. Um, but let's just go through some of the details. Well, first of all, for such a compact package, it's quite powerful. It works with 1250 watts, uh, and these are powering a 30 centimeters in diameter surface made of aluminum and with a special non-stick coating. So uh, that coating prevents the dough from sticking to the surface. Uh, while we added a piece of advice, whether it's commercial or homeware, um, well, it's always good with the first time just to base it with a little bit of grease, uh, but not like leaking, but uh, just with some paper towel or something like that, just smear it in, uh, just to uh, well lubricate the surface. And I guarantee your pancakes, or I should just say crepes, uh, will look much, much better. Uh, one really cool feature on the hot, well, on the hot plate is the rim. So that prevents the dough from leaking over the edge. Well, in professional machines you don't have that, and that is actually quite cool, especially for an unexperienced cook at home. Um, moving down, of course, the mechanism is in the base, and so are the controls, or actually I'd say one control. There's only one knob. Uh, you can set the temperature between 50 and 190 degrees, uh, so when you move it down, it goes up to 70 on the low, and it goes up to 190 degrees. While we add it, it's always good before the f you use it the first time to crank it up to maximum temperature, let it sit there for uh, a few minutes. Uh, when you see the smoke clears, that's when it's ready to, uh, to be used. Uh, also very good to do before uh, any service you are planning to do. Just to heat up the surface, it will uh, make the dough uh, well caramelized straight away and not stuck to the surface. Uh, in a while you'll figure it out because you can't see the temperature on the dial, uh, what setting you should use. Well, I always go, go about like two-thirds up. So not the maximum, but definitely hot enough for the dough to uh, uh, caramelize. In the set you're getting, well, some accessories, which is kind of cool. First of all, you're getting a wooden spatula. This is actually very useful if it comes to crepes. That's for distributing the dough on its surface. Uh, what I've seen people do before service, they soak up uh, in water. Uh, so first of all, it won't burn because it touches the surface, the hot surface, so it prevents that from burning. And also, it will lubricate the uh, surface of the wood, so it will not poke through your dough. Also very nice is the fact that they include a ladle, which is a perfect measurement of dough for this hot plate. And this is, I don't know if I said, 30 centimeters in diameter. Uh, also in the set is a wooden spatula, and that's for flipping the pancakes. So in order uh, not to scratch the surface, do not use uh, metal utensils because you may damage it. Uh, wooden or plastic ones are perfect, uh, and the wooden ones I prefer. So you just go underneath it, you flip the pancake, and that's in the set. Uh, of course, you get a three-year warranty with it, and if you're interested in one of these and, well, you have higher needs, you, you may want to check out the website. There's also commercial versions of this one, so you'll definitely find the one that you need for your venue. Uh, the producer also made sure they pack it really well. They put it in a cardboard box with a really tight fit with styrofoam in it. And I don't know if you, can, if you can see it, it's double cardboard, so it's really thick and really sturdy. Of course, styrofoam for the fit. And also inside, you will find one of these. And that's the instruction manual. Uh, please have a read before you start the device the first time. There's also useful information in regards to cleaning, operation, and, well, of course, how to set it up for the first time. So definitely a good read. All right, so that's about it. Uh, if you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what other equipment I can test for you and I'll do it. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.